So just quickly before we get started, I've set up a Patreon and the link's in the description below. So today we're just going to talk about more right hand technique, recapping a few of the things that I advised you in the right hand technique video number one and the tremolo picking video. So just to recap, holding the pick properly, two fingers, thumb on the top of the pick, first finger arch round, you don't really want to hold the pick with three fingers. And I like to keep these fingers extended because it gives me a more relaxed hand, wrist, arm, elbow. And it allows me to get a stronger palm mute because my hand is covering more of the strings. Now we've got that covered, let's talk about Iron Maiden. So if we take the song Fear of the Dark. <laughs> you build up your rhythm playing technique a lot because if we just go over that fear of the dark riff again just the first few bits see there my right hand you know I'm resting on the low E to mute the E and the A string not palm mute but mute because you don't want the strings to ring out whilst you're playing and there, that alternate picking technique here, like this, is more or less the kind of technique, the kind of wrist movement that you want for trailer picking. If you're just. that wrist movement and playing fear of the dark helps you build this technique in a very controlled manner because like I said in the previous video you never want to blast straight into tremolo picking you don't want to never ever want to go you know if you just start playing guitar for six months to a year maybe even two if you haven't built this technique up properly because you don't want to, you don't want to relearn things that you've been learning before. It's best to just build up your technique so that when you do progress to more difficult playing styles, it's easier for you. So again, very controlled. Very controlled alternate picking. And, you know, if we go into the main riff of the song. Exercising the tremolo, peak, uh, tremolo picking technique, wrist movement. You know, because you're not going straight away. You're building up the technique so the picking is even. You're building up the strength of not only your down picks, but more importantly, your up picks. You know, you don't even need to pick too hard for this record. If you pick too hard, it just sounds like plastic. You know, you don't want to dig in. It's not like you're going... Playing thick, heavy death metal riffs. You just want to work with the string. You know, because strings have a natural rebound. With this natural rebound, the string always wants to go to the position it's in right now when you're not playing. That is the natural position for the string to be in. You know, if you dig in too much, not only does it sharpen the sound of the note, you know, if you try to pick too hard, it'll be fine for a downstroke. But when you're doing the upstroke, you'll be vibrating too much for the pick to catch it. Like, if you hear the difference here, you know, it's already become messy. You know, it's not in not tight enough because I can't catch a string at the right point 
of the beat. Yeah, it's just awkward. So don't pick too aggressively. Be, be somewhat gentle. If you then try to tremolo pick with a really hard pick grip, you know, then it doesn't work. It just sounds crap. But if I loosen the grip of the pick, relax a bit more. apply too much pressure with your thumb when you grip the pick. You know, just enough. You know, again, tighten up the grip of the pick when you're doing, you know, heavy riffs. those kind of riffs, then you want to hold the pick, you want to have the pick grip a lot stronger. So with like the more thrashier black metal riffs, you do want to have a stronger pick grip. But then if you go straight into the shoulder picking stuff afterwards, Loosen up the grip so you get more control for the trailer pick line. See that here, soft. some of the Iron Maiden stuff. When you want to build up your tremolo picking technique, it's a good idea to not only palm you, but try it with chords as well. And Iron Maiden, again, being as amazing as they are. You can build up these techniques whilst learning their riffs, even with Fear of the Dark, if we go to this. We've got the gallop picking. So, you know, a down strum, and then two palm muted strums afterwards. Down, then up. And the gallop with some of the other songs as well, the trooper. You know, a lot faster. Down, 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 down. And the evil that men do. You know, lots of cool riffs with Iron Maiden, and it doesn't even necessarily have to be the gallop riffs, it could be. Some of the other ones, you know, Hallowed Be Thy Name. Now we get to 
one of the hardest riffs you can play. It doesn't necessarily have to be some of the picky riffs, it could be something else like Two Minutes to Midnight. There, it helps you build the evenness in your picking. You know, some of the accenting that I was talking about with Emperor. Soft. You know, when you play those chords that aren't palm muted, you could just pick a little bit harder. When I was about 14, 15, all I was doing was just learning lots and lots of Iron Maiden songs, and I found my playing was getting better and better, and I was able to pick up the black metal stuff more easily. Yeah, it was a challenge, but if I hadn't built up the techniques learned from Iron Maiden, I wouldn't be able to play any of the black metal stuff right now. So again, just take it nice and easy, build up the technique, build the evenness in your picking, before you start learning all, all the black metal stuff. The exercises that you can do, you know, that's kind of black metal-y, you can just, you know, have four picks on the low E, chord, and just pick a nice chord progression that you like, or any chords. And then just try and build the speed up. two strums at the end instead of one. So yeah, that's just a quick recap on your know, picking, songs to learn, techniques to go over, or to help your playing out.